Hey guys, it's Tracy. I want to share with you a project that I just completed this morning and I started working on it yesterday. And what it is is a silhouette file made by Lori Whitlock and it's the A2 magazine holder, I believe that's what it's called. And there's two out there. And the difference between the two is this. One, this is slanted and the other one is more rounded. So let me show you the pro products that I used and the paper collection that I used was everybody probably knew from seeing the print which is well not everybody but a lot of folks probably do is Prima's romance novel and it has some really beautiful papers in here I also had the note cards and the stickers die cut stickers which are really nice because they're real thick so I use this as well as some papers that have smaller designs from the 6x6 collection I use some embossing folders the script embossing which is Hobby Lobby two Sizzix folder Sorry for the glare, guys. Let's see if I can. And then a Tim Holtz. And I did put the label on that one. So that is the collage. The other one I need to label. I use this stamp set by Stampendous. And I use that one right there. This one has a name. It's called Charm Collection. I'm gonna go pretty fast here. I use I have picked this up at Tuesday morning. And I cut some pieces off the flowers off of there. I use some keys from K and Company. It's K and Company stack. And then the ones that are loose in there, there's all from the Michaels two dollar section. I stuck them in there. I use this trim. And I use some leaves and a flower from, sorry, from this Prima. And this came with the, this is part of the Rondell collection. And I use some flowers, a white flower, and then it has sheer flowers in here. I use that. And then the sheer flowers have those little bees in it. I just pull them out of the center. But let me show you my box. And you know what? I don't know how big it is. Let me, let me see. In case anybody's interested. It is like 5 and 7 eighth inches tall. 4 and a half inches wide. And the depth here is 1 and 3 quarter inches deep or wide here. So then, you know, the file has this little book, what is it called, book plate? And I just used some real tiny brads that I had in my stash. And what I did here, I wanted to make some, I've been wanting to make some cards. So I said, well, you know, I'll use the Prima Romance Novel Collection and just make four cards to go in with the envelopes. So let me show you my first card. So I just used the design in the paper to help me design these cards in some instances. And I just used that um, Tim Holtz, that little tiny distress, distressor, it's a little round thing. And then I haven't put anything stamped them because I'm not even sure what I'm using them for. I wanted to make some cards. And then the back, three of the cards have dry embossing on the back. And one of them just one of them, the first one I made has paper. And then what I did do, I just lined the top part of the envelopes to match the paper on the card, the main paper on the card. So that is my first one. Okay, and here is my second one. And what I did do, and what I'm going to try to do is, as I make things, I'm trying to incorporate 
masculine cards because you need you do need them but again we don't see them that often made by crafters so I try to do them and I actually don't mind like kind of like the challenge of trying to what the card to make so these are just some eyelets here and then that's the key from that cane company and the challenge was to to see if I could make some from this paper collection so again it's just plain and then that's the Tim Holtz collage embossing folder and it had numbers here which kind of corresponds with what's going on in the front here and then again I lined the inside so that is that card and here is my third card which came out so cute and that little tiny stamp that I showed you that's how I and this one flips up then I used the flower folder and let me show let me on in the paper collection let me see if I can find this page quickly it has let me show you it has those little postcards there so that's what I was mimicking so I really like the way that came out so cute and what I did do I used antique antique linen to bring down the color of the that paper because it was too bright I think I showed the back so that and then here's the inside so that is that cord and here is my last card which was the first one that I made and and I was making these for my scraps and where scraps wasn't big enough of course I had to cut you know into full sheets but that is my card and that's the Michael's flower and then there is and this is also from the collection this is a sticker and I didn't realize it was sticker paper until I was looking at one of the other ones so I just put a piece of red sticky strip on here and I said like, oh man I didn't even have to do that it was already a sticker but anyway and this was a leftover piece from my work planner because I was looking at this I saw here that I had cut out another p image from the collection and had glued that on top of this piece of paper so and here and it's a magnet on this one to keep it closed and this I actually cut from this base is from an S not an SVG a silhouette file which is for A2 cards and I think it's it's a try it's a gatefold and they have different gatefolds and they have an envelope too which I did cut out but because the score lines are so deep once I folded it because I used actually paper like 12 by 12 paper and not cardstock as soon as you folded it you could see those score lines so I just looked through my stash and I had some A2 envelopes that I could use and it's just you know plain inside again because I don't know what I'm going to do with it and then here's the only one that I put paper on the back because again this was the first one that I did so, so that is my fourth card and it's just something how you know you can get so many different looks from one paper collection so again let me give me a look at my box box is so cute and I didn't do a whole lot of embellishing here because I'm thinking of maybe taking some other paper collections that I have and doing the same thing and if I do I can just stack them up beside one another and then if I have stuff you know dimensional stuff on the side here I won't be able to do that so I would like to line them up beside one another and then you can slip a piece of paper down in here 
if need be. Oh, and what I did want to tell you that I did, the file does not call for a liner piece, but what I did is this back piece right here has the holes in it for you to put the, your brads in. So what I did, I just made a copy of that piece, ungrouped it, and removed the, um, the piece that creates the holes. So that gave me just a solid piece. And I just took, like, then I, you know, put the box together, put my brads in, and then I took that liner piece and put it in the inside. Because I didn't want to see the brads inside. Just me. I mean, it would have been fine, but I just didn't want to see it. So that is my box, guys. My A2 magazine holder. It's so cute. came out so cute. And I'm loving my cards, the way they came out and how they look so different. And let me give you a look again. Here's my masculine, which I really like. It's not a lot to it, but I just I like it. Here's the first one that I made. So this was the first one that I made. That back in the box. This was the second one that I made. And this was my third one. And this is the last one that I just finished up. And they fit in there nicely. Well, I started, let me see, do I have that? There, there we go. Stuck there. All right, and you see, and they fit in there nicely, even with that flower being kind of dimensional. I had one that I worked, started to do, was doing something with it. And then I was like kind of stuck. I didn't know what else to do with this. So I have, and I'll probably end up finishing it, but I'm going to take some more thought for this one. Alright guys, just want to show you what I was up to in the last two days. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.